foundational teaching, and um, we're still on repentance. Amen. Amen. Microphone. Um, hit your button. Yeah. <laughs> Just hit it. Tap it right there on the top. Yes. Okay. We're still teaching on repentance because that is the most vital of all our foundational teachings. Amen? Amen. So we will be doing it until the Lord says so. Amen. There's so much of repentance that we have to explore. We have to learn about and understand that these foundational stones and foundational truths. It will help you in the long run as you do evangelism, as you do uh, whatever ministry you're doing. The bottom line is people must repent. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Father, we thank you today for another opportunity to speak forth your word, what you have given to us for this day. We want to know how grateful and appreciative we are that you have selected us for such a time as this yes, to God. bring forth the truths that are in your word. God, we have to see and we have to enter the kingdom. And we have to understand, God, the stepping stones in having, oh God, a relationship with the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The King of heaven. So, God, as we go into your word today, we pray that you will breathe upon us, unctionize us. Oh, God, give us the, the unction of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Spirit of God, you have your way in Jesus' mighty name. And we give God praise. Amen? Amen. So let's Amen. go. Lesson, this is lesson three on building a full foundation. And we're going to use this day our um the pivotal scripture that we have been using uh, for the last two other two lessons is in Matthew 24, 27. It says, Therefore, whosoever heard these sayings of mine and do it them. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. Amen. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Amen? Amen. That's our targeted scripture, but today we want to look at the scripture we use um, at our last lesson in Hebrews 6, 1 to 3. It says, Therefore, leaving the principles of of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permit. And then I want to bring in another scripture in Isaiah 28, 9 to 10. Whom shall, teach, whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept shall be upon precept Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Amen? Amen. That's how you study the Bible. Amen? Amen? Praise the name of the Lord. Now why do we call the first principles of the doctrine of Christ foundation stones? We discussed that the term foundation stones was coined to help us emphasize 
the distinctiveness of each truth, which is to be believed first and then experience. Amen. Amen? Uh, be they are, they are stepping stones to greater revelation, wisdom, and the understanding of the things of God. They are stepping stones to greater revelation and wisdom and understanding of the things of God. So, number one, they have to be believed and experienced. And two, they are the stepping stones to greater revelation, wisdom, and understanding of the things of God. Amen. Number three, these foundational truths or first principles, such as being born again, Amen. and justified by faith, and not only to be believed. When you come to Christ, you hear the preaching of the word. You have to believe. And when you believe, then you experience. Amen? Amen? You can't testify about the things of God if you never had an experience with God. Amen. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. Amen? You see, the man with the theory, uh, he cannot beat the man with experience. Amen? Amen? You can terrorize about the things of God, what you believe and what you think and blah, blah, blah. But a man that have the experience, uh -huh. ah, that's the man you want to listen to. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen? Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Amen? Amen. This is a truth that has to believe, be believed, and experience. Mm -hmm. So that's why people ask, are you saved? Amen. You must be born again to receive revelation of the kingdom of God or to be a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. And the doctrine of salvation includes certain topics. One is repentance. Uh, you have faith, regeneration, justification, adoption, sanctification and prayer. We did a study of prayer last year, all different types of prayer, and we included in the study of prayer the importance of using the names of God. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. As we continue with our study of the doctrine of repentance, we are reminded that Jesus John the Baptist and the early church began their public ministry with a call to repentance. Amen. So when we are going out into the field, which is ready for harvest, what are we going there to talk about? Repentance. We've got to yes. preach repentance. Yes. Amen? Amen. We've got to preach repentance. In Matthew 3, Matthew 3, 1 to 8, got it. It says, in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So John the Baptist started off his ministry and his message was, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In verse 8 of that same text, he says, Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. Now we see Jesus' ministry in Matthew 4, 17. It says, from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Amen? Amen. That's how they started their ministry with the message of repentance. And then here comes the church in Mark 6, 7, and 12. 